Hello everyone and welcome to the December edition of the Far Cry 5 map blog series, the show where you can get your Far Cry maps featured here on the channel for us to play and the world to see. I've got the theme announcement here for December and also a really important channel update because man, it has been a while. There has been so much going on that has led to some unfortunate delays in terms of getting content out to you guys and also myself just being active in the community. It has been literally a week since I replied to comments and I've also missed a few of the Far Cry sessions we host every weekend on the Xbox. And I just want to explain in the second half of the video what's been going on, why I've missed so many things and there's been so many delays. But firstly, I want to give you guys what you've almost certainly come for first and that is of course the theme you are building to this December. You guys quite clearly voted for Vietnam. So the theme for December, as I said, is Vietnam. And I'm just gonna run through all the usual rules to make sure that your map is considered for the final showcase. First of all, we only accept one map per person and the closing date for submissions will be the 31st of December. So you have until the very moment that we click over into 2020 to submit your maps. And I hope that's enough time for you guys to make some quality things for us to enjoy. Just a normal reminder as well, I only play uh, Far Cry on the Xbox. It's the only platform I have access to. So if you are on PlayStation or PC, you are most welcome to use Map Swapper to bring your maps over to the Xbox, but just remember to allow yourself time for that process to take place. Now, of course, we only accept solo and co-op maps. So that is Bounty Hunt, Assault, Journey, and Outpost. And that's simply because it's just hard to get full lobbies to showcase multiplayer maps in their true light. So just remember that little restriction as well. Also, one final disclaimer, we only actually showcase 10 maps in the end, and we pick those final 10 through a variety of means. It, it's never one single metric. We jump into all the maps and have a look around them, see the build quality in advance. And then of course, we also look at the popularity, the build quality, all those sorts of things, and we ultimately pick, hopefully, what you guys deem a fair final 10. It's not a perfect science, but we do try and be as objective as we possibly can. So if you just build a map to the best of your ability, chances are it's going to have a very good shot at featuring in the final 10 of the, uh, yeah, in the final 10 video. Now, how do you submit a map? Now, this is really, really important, something that people still sometimes get wrong, but the majority of you seem to have down pretty right. So if you build a map to this theme, make sure you submit the details on this video. So in the comments section of this video, I need to know the map name your gamer tag and what platform it is on. If you've used if you've used Map Swapper, please just make a little note of that so I know to look for Map Swapper as the creator. And I'll leave a little template as a pinned comment for you guys to copy and paste to ensure that you are making sure your maps are being seen when I go looking for the final 10. Just a quick bonus tip as well. If you are submitting a map but want to make a few comments on the video or anything like that, please put the map submission as its own dedicated comment because when I'm scrolling through looking for the final, uh, all the submissions, sometimes I can lose map submissions if they're in replies or anything like that. So just put it as its own dedicated comments and then anything else want to say, put it in a, in a uh, separate comment as well. I hope I've made sense in that. I feel like I butchered that today. I've been rushing to get this video out. But if you have any questions, as always, please just let me know in the comments. I'm here to help you guys out. And I'm so excited to see what you guys build to a Vietnam theme. Now we move on to the channel update side of the video, but I strongly urge everyone to stick around because there's some things that have been interrupting the channel and its content over the past month and some things that will continue to interfere for the remainder of the year. And I just want to talk you guys through all of, all of that information so you know where we're at and where we are going. First things first, with the last showcase, we introduced a brand new format where we moved away from the live commentated playthrough of each of the final 10 and instead did almost a review of the final 10 maps for the showcase. Now, I asked for you guys to give us some feedback on that new format and you guys were really, really amazing. You provided some constructive and objective feedback and even those of you who didn't like the new format were still very respectful in sharing your thoughts and explaining why you may not be as comfortable with it. So first things first, thank you for being so open with your thoughts and also being so respectful, especially if you did not like the new format. Now, the majority of people seem to be somewhere in the middle. 
Some people loved the change, some people hated it. The majority seem to be somewhere in the middle, largely agreeing that it's a positive step for the channel in terms of just having a more engaging format for the showcase. And overall, I've got to say the format is here to stay. And the largest reason is simply because the production process was so much easier and that video was so much easier to knock out compared to the old format and once i start talking about some of the things that have been going on hopefully you understand what a saving grace that format has been for us in all honesty with the amount of stuff that's been going on if we had to do the live commentated format chances are you would still be waiting for the horror showcase to this day and of course we don't want massive delays like that of course, if you do want more on my thoughts around why we've moved from the old format and onto the new format, check out the theme announcement video for the previous showcase. I'll link it in the description because that explains all the reasoning behind the shift in the format if you haven't seen it already. But now I wanna move on to some general channel updates, things that are going on with the channel and my personal life, which are obviously quite closely interlinked, but important stuff I really need you guys to know about. Okay, so as I alluded to at the very beginning of the video, this past month has been probably the roughest I've had since I launched the channel in terms of getting consistent content out to you guys and just being active in the community, replying to comments, joining the weekly Far Cry sessions. And I just wanna make sure that you guys know this isn't through a lack of dedication or interest or commitment to you guys here on the channel. It's purely being some external factors beyond my control. And I did wanna let you guys know what those factors were were because some of them are going to continue to impact the channel for the remainder of the year. So the first thing that has really been a bit of a nightmare <laughs> was uh, just a work situation. I took a contract to help organize an event and that contract had a very narrow scope. It only required a few hours per week, but then all of a sudden the event grew in its magnitude, which is fantastic, but also the workload I then needed to put in also grew exponentially. So for the past month, I have been racing around full time trying to get this thing to, uh, to go smoothly. Unfortunately, the event happened last week. It was fantastic. It went brilliantly. All the hard work paid off, but obviously, uh, uh, oh, I've got to be careful what I say here, but real work in heavy, heavy air quotes obviously has to take priority over these sort of side ventures that I do in terms of YouTube and all that sort of stuff. So I hope you guys understand the need to, um, those professional requirements that meant I had some delays to the channel. But if I'm honest, that alone wasn't really what interrupted the channel. The real curveball and the thing that is going to continue to sadly impact the channel for the remainder of the year is a wonderful little issue called wisdom teeth. Now I share this because <laughs> not because I'm looking for sympathy, but the timing of my wisdom teeth giving me grief was just astronomically bad. Right when that contract started picking up, my wisdom teeth started giving me grief, and all of a sudden I'm racing around my city getting scans done, having consultations with a dentist. Long and short of it, the wisdom teeth need to come out. It's just happened at a terrible, terrible time. So I've been running around to all these different appointments, once again, chewing into all that time I was hoping to dedicate towards producing videos and interacting with you guys and simply just exhausting myself because of the amount of travel and uh, information I've got to take in regarding this. Now, the wisdom teeth are still unfortunately in. I'm having surgery to have them removed this coming Tuesday. And the reason why I continue to share that is because my situation is a little bit complicated and basically my recovery period could be anything from a few days to an entire month. It really depends on how well the surgery goes. So long and short of it, I actually don't know how much longer I'm going to need before I'm able to get really back into the swing of the channel. Worst case scenario, it won't be until January next year. I share that again, not because I'm looking for sympathy. Wisdom teeth is something the vast majority of us all have to deal with at some point, but I just wanted to explain to you guys why it will uh, continue to interrupt the channel for the remainder of this year. Now, does that mean you are going to be without content? Absolutely not. But what I can't do is just commit to an absolute schedule saying, hey, you're going to get a showcase on this date. You're going to get a speed build on this date like I have been since we launched. I hope to return to a schedule from February next year. But basically for the rest of December and January, I just want to rid myself of all absolute responsibilities in terms of getting specific videos out to you guys, just so I can focus on getting these last little annoyances out of my life in terms of the 
the teeth and recovering and being back on track. And that's part of the reason why the showcase uh, closing date for submissions is the 31st of December. Not only have I been delayed in getting the theme announcement out to you guys, I am genuinely not sure I'll be able to record the showcase with my partner throughout December. Obviously, I'm going to be in a fair bit of pain and then we've got the holiday season. So I'm basically giving myself until the end of January to get that video out to you guys. And then hopefully after that, we will be back in the swing of things. And there we have it, guys. I hope that's been a nice update for you. I share all this once again, just so you have some context on why there's been so many disruptions and while there'll be a few more in the very near future. I don't want to sound like I'm looking for sympathy either. A lot of my problems right now are first world problems. The fact that I've had so much work on my plate is a good thing. You know, it's time consuming, but hey, at least I've got work. A lot of people out there don't have that luxury right now. And also the wisdom teeth. Yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, it's an annoyance. Yes, it's expensive, but at least I'm in a country where, you know, I've got world-class medical attention around me I can get it sorted and hopefully never worry about it again so they are first world problems they are pretty minor problems as well I am exceptionally lucky to be in the position I am right now but they are time-consuming and all I can say is a massive thank you for your understanding and continued patience and just for still being here the fact I know I can come home when I'm ready and make some videos for you guys to enjoy and you will still be there is a massively exciting thing and it really is keeping me going when I'm going through these quite busy and stressful times. But until then guys, thank you so much for your support. I cannot wait to see what maps you produce to a Vietnam theme. My partner will be back alongside me to review those top 10 maps. And until then guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Goodbye.